Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you've got a picture like this, you kind of remember it being a bit, you know, more sunsetty, a bit more orange and so on. So what you can do about it, uh, and also just to make the picture nicer, is to go in the adjustments here, down to lens filter. If I click on the lens filter here, I can choose the colour. And it always starts off with orange, which is probably the most common colour to filter it is because it makes the picture warmer. But if I click on this, I can choose any colour in here that I like. But let's just go with this for now. And then all I do, very simply, turn this up until it's the one I like. You can even go all the way up because it's not a very strong effect. This one down here, Presume Luminosity, what's it do? Click it to find out, see what happens. So I click on that and go, oh no, that's not too much, isn't it? So that's basically keeping the blacks and whites in it. So the sun, sun there stays white as it, it looks better like that. So this is generally a pretty good subtle method for warming up a picture. Or the opposite of it is to go to literally the other side of this wheel, is to go over there. You could cool it down. You probably wouldn't need as, as much strength in that. So turn this one down. But what this could be used for in particular is in sort of down here more, this could be bluer. So there's another control which does both at the same time. So I'll just delete that one. And just underneath the lens filter here is split toning. And what split toning does is a fancy word, but all it means is it, it colours the highlights, the lighter parts of the image in one colour, and then colours the shadows, the darker part of the image, in another colour. And that's it really. And so here you can set the highlights hue. So let's drag that up there to about orange as before and turn this up and see if you get the similar kind of effect. And it is, it's quite similar isn't it? It's not quite the same and you can play with either of them, you know, this one or the lens filter, but that's what you get. The shadows saturation. So if we put the opposite in here, we put orange there and the opposite of orange isn't blue, because if I turn up the blue here, it kind of looks a bit funny. But it's halfway between blue and cyan, which is teal. Which is a more sea-like colour, and also it's pretty good somewhere, so we just turn the saturation down. And there you go, you've got yourself a balanced split toning image. What you've got here as well is a balance control. And this actually adds more amplification, which is a useful tip, because if I turn this down this way, notice now the orange is getting even oranger. And even if I turn the shadows all the way back down again, it's still more orange than if it was when it was in the middle. So that gives you a second greater amplifying control there to, to do more things. So if you just want the highlights, you can leave the shadows low and turn up the just the hue as much as you want and balance put that one all the way to the left. So overall then I'll put that back in there and turn up the shadows so the sea is just a little bit dark but I need the balance to bring it back in again so, so you can see it coming down here. There we go and just play with those until you're happy with them. This picture had very little orange in it which is why you need to turn this all the way up. Other pictures you're going to be a lot more subtle about. There you go, two uh, for the price of one, there, lens filter and split toning. Thank you very much for watching.